adults, uh, I think in terms of the autonomic nervous system, malfunction. And uh, a great example of this is uh, fainting reaction. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, I discovered this phenomenon of sympathoadrenal imbalance. It's illustrated here. In contrast with Cannon's idea of an emergency sympathoadrenal system, here you can see in this patient that uh, at first norepinephrine and epinephrine go up together. This is on a fraction of, of baseline. It's on a log scale. Uh, so uh, they go up together. But then right about here, norepinephrine sort of goes up a little bit, but adrenaline is going up a lot. And this happens long before there's actually a fall in blood pressure and the patient uh, faints. Uh, uh, because of stimulation of beta-2 receptors in skeletal muscle uh, by adrenaline, the forearm vascular resistance falls in response to adrenaline. So if you look at the forearm vascular resistance, uh, at first uh, it goes up, which is it's supposed to do. But then I think because as the adrenaline is building up, the forearm vascular resistance is going down. And right here, the forearm vascular resistance goes below baseline. When that happens, at least in my experience, that means that there's going to be a fainting reaction. And you can see the blood pressure goes, uh, plummets uh, 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 several minutes uh, after, after that. So that's uh, sympathoadrenal imbalance. It's a situation where the sympathetic noradrenergic system and sympathetic adrenergic system get kind of discombobulated. And uh, I think it's a, an evoked central pattern where if you can't fight, you're in a distressing situation. You can't fight and you can't flee. And another possibility is faint. Here's the concept. It's really kind of simple. Uh, when you're, when you're tilted up, normally there are things that happen. The heart gets smaller, the, card, the stroke volume is smaller because you've shifted your blood volume distribution. And the, uh, but uh, at the same time, because of sympathetic noradrenergic system activation, the blood vessels to skeletal muscle uh, tighten. Because of that, you're able to maintain blood flow to the brain even though the heart is pumping out less blood. When somebody's going to faint, then I think because of adrenaline and sympathoadrenal imbalance, uh, now there's a shunting of blood away from the brain and towards skeletal muscle, maybe uh, teleologically getting ready for a fight or flight response. And, and, and that comes at the expense of blood flow to the brain. That's my sort of simple concept for tilt-induced uh, syncope. Uh, two things are happening. The heart is smaller, cardiac output is smaller, and uh, there's an absence of the usual vasoconstriction, vasoconstriction in skeletal muscle. Instead, there's uh, skeletal muscle vasodilation because of adrenaline.